Welcome to How to Rock Spirit's Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirit's YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in a water sign. Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Sun in Pisces. Creative energy is expressed sensitively and inspirationally. Needs to be recognized for compassionate, giving nature. Sense of individuality is not clearly focused due to empathy with lives and problems of others. Radiates a healing and compassionate spirit toward all that suffers. Vitality and self-expression are colored by soul yearnings, overwhelming vulnerability, and the state of the inner life. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook. The element of the moon's sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically, a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it Feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in Fire Signs reacts to changing experiences with direct action and enthusiasm, feels comfortable when expressing confidence and strength. Sign position of the moon, how one reacts based on subconscious predisposition. Moon in Aries, reacts aggressively, impatiently, forcefully, directly, competitively. A need for self-assertion in order to feel emotionally secure and right about oneself. A confident, Action-oriented sense of self focused on new experience. Responds to experience and environment with a single-pointed release of energy. Combative qualities can hinder attainment of security. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Aries. Aggressive spirit. Temper. Quick reactions. Spontaneous, direct, inclined to impulsive and quick temper. Feelings are keen and intense at the moment. Courage, but foolhardiness. Hides a sense of insecurity behind an independence and an aggressive exterior. Poor judgment. Jumps into action from feelings rather than from reason. Makes friends quickly, but often finds it difficult to keep them because of emotional instability. In a male chart, attracts a dominating woman as a partner. Sun-Moon Alchemy, the elemental combinations of the sun sign and the moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Copyright Charles and Susie Harvey, 1994, again in 2003. First published by Aquarian, 1994. Each sun-moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a fire-earth combination refers equally to sun-fire-moon-earth as it does to sun-earth-moon-fire. There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. Fire-water combinations. Take fire power and water power and put them together and you get steam, the power which drove the great trains. Steam is used to cleanse and sterilize and can also scald. Emotionally, this combination has a reputation for being especially given to passionate emotional involvement. Volatile, romantic, moody, the fire-water person has the artistic temperament which can fluctuate wildly. 
It is a poetic, ardent temperament, courageous in its visions, yet vulnerable in its need for love and inspiration. The poet Shelley, sun in Leo, moon in Pisces, exemplified this passionate, artistic nature very well, and could equally be describing himself when he rejoices in his poem The Skylark. Pourest thy full heart and profuse strains of unpremeditated art. When the sun is in water and the moon is in fire, the result is a passionate crusader whose feelings fuel his purpose and art. But fire can make water evaporate, and water may extinguish fire. When this happens, this type can feel unstable, depressed, and disoriented. Shadow Side The fire-water individual often lacks the ability to take the impersonal view, that is, to step back and reason impartially about things. Their approach is intensely personal, urgent, passionate, and for them, life lacks meaning and color if that vital personal ingredient is taken away. Often a slave to the intense fluctuation of moods, this type's volatility can reach fanatical proportions, especially if a cool, reasoned argument is called for. Instability and impracticality can play havoc with the smooth running of their lives. Relationships The fire-water type is a highly romantic, warm, an emotional person, and to a large degree thrives on love and satisfying relationships. Whilst one part of the nature may want to merge and gain absolute security, however, another part wants excitement and challenge. One part may feel an infinite capacity to give, whilst another part is impelled to devour. This mixture can be demanding to live with, but also exciting and rewarding in the way that it might stretch other, less emotional types. People with this combination tend to feel contained and grounded by earth-air types. Their moodiness and changeability is less problematic as they learn to direct some of their emotional energy into their own creative pursuits. Male versus Female This combination blends the most feminine and the most masculine of the elements. An extreme yang and an extreme yin quality together produces a very creative but also a very volatile and often difficult combination for either sex to handle. Both males and females can experience huge mood swings as they contact first their powerful independence and pride, and then their sensitivity and vulnerability. In general, both males and females will seek highly personal professional avenues. Conforming to convention is not their strong suit. Under the label of the artist, both the male and female fire water type will find more compassionate acceptance as well as intense admiration from others. In other words, their artistic inspiration and highly theatrical style usually more than compensates for their lack of emotional stability. The following observations about your sun-moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Pisces, Moon in Aries, the Dark Horse. You are nice, charitable, and sympathetic, especially to yourself. You are always looking out for your own interests first, and you have a high regard for yourself. It is not a matter of thinking others are unimportant, rather that you are just more important. Ease and a lot of security are what you want from life, and your extraordinary intuition says you will have it. A surface that is reserved and shy hides your true intensity and ambition. You have the impulsive energy and drive of Aries, plus the sensitivity and compassion of Pisces. It surprises people when you drop your modest appearance to become frank and decisive. You are not naive even though you appear to be a babe in the woods. Actually, you are a very autonomous and self-sufficient individual. You know how to get your way with charisma and delicate persuasion because you are sly, shrewd, and subtle. This is particularly true of the female Pisces Aries. You know automatically whom to trust and whom to pass by because of your amazing sixth sense. You are very impulsive, as are all moons in Aries people, and you love pleasure. Taking chances just for the fun of it may be what you love, but it might also bring you trouble. Curb your impatience and learn to slow down now and then. 
Your Pisces character is rather inhibited, so when the time comes for action, you may be indecisive, but your Aries moon gives you big aspirations and a need to assert yourself. In addition, not desiring to exceed those who are weaker than you are, maybe you feel a bit guilty about aggressive behavior. Others do not have to pay the price of self-fulfillment, however. It would be good to learn this. Your Sun-Moon combination is favorable to leadership jobs, especially in charitable and service-oriented groups. A career in medicine or engineering, in addition, is possible because of your keen, perceptive mind. You have an emotionally charged Aries inner character, so you could become a productive artist, and your Pisces vision and creative facility are improved by self-expression. Your quick mind, appeal, and flexibility unite to help assure your success once those inhibitions have been defeated. Your real kindness of spirit and consideration will bloom after you have attended to your own needs. Your sympathy is forever with the underdog, and you have strong protective instincts. Do not become condescending, though, because for some Pisces Aries, helping people can just be an ego enhancement. Notes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign Sun in Pisces, Moon in Aries Your greatest strengths Quiet charisma, warmth and optimism, frank spirit and jovial fellow feeling, combined sensitivity and impetuosity which makes you fun to be with, ability to enter the race whilst at the same time encouraging the very best in your opponents. Capacity to laugh at human nature and bounce back. Your greatest weaknesses. Fear that your abilities and worth will not be noticed, making you go overboard in your efforts to win. Tendency to be touchy and argumentative and to take yourself too seriously. Inclination to be at the mercy of emotional fluctuations between selfishness and consideration for others. Inclination to be at the mercy of emotional fluctuations between selfishness and consideration for others, and an inner frustration when to do one seems to totally deny the other. Image for integration. In tattered rags, the small, obscure young servant named Arthur pulls the sword from the stone and becomes king of Camelot.